Data informs every decision that we make in Long Beach Unified and has for over 20 years. We are a district that believes in constant improvement. Data is important because it actually allows teachers to reflect on their teaching constantly. When we started using data back in the early 90s, uh, there was a lot of fear from teachers, administrators, parents. And once people saw how we were going to use data and the data collaborations and the data talks and, the, and really the transparency of using data, data is not seen as a bad thing here. It's actually seen as your friend. The main thing that Long Beach has gained by providing teachers with access to data in a way that's meaningful to them is that we've been able to bridge the gap between teaching and learning. And I think oftentimes we will teach and we will teach well, but if the students don't learn it, did we actually teach it? I want my class to be student driven. Hard data, hard facts, things that tell me what my kids don't understand and what they're missing and what I'm not doing well has really helped me shape my classroom into a community oriented classroom where my kids are in charge and, and my classroom is student driven. We sit down with teachers and we ask them what kind of data would be helpful for you. Then I think it's incumbent on us to create those systems and I think we're just providing the equipment that people need to better teach and better learn. If we are able to identify where the gaps are, where the greatest student need is, then you can target your effort to move our students forward. I would look at my students' writing and I would collect what I call trend data. I can look at what are they doing well, what do they need help with, and that helped me as a teacher give better writing instruction and give better feedback to the students. And I remember one student, she said, this is the first time I've actually ever passed a test because she knew where she was, she knew she was just about there, and she passed it at the end of the year and she was really proud of herself. And I think had she not seen that data, she wouldn't understand that she was actually progressing. So there's more of a feeling of, I can go visit this person and get an idea. I can go visit this person and see them with their practice and pick something up. So it breaks down that, the isolation of teaching and it builds up professional development internally. I can't imagine not having all this data at my fingertips. And when I meet with colleagues and they shake their head and they're like, we don't have anything like that. I, I don't know what they do. As a leader, uh, if we don't use the data, it really doesn't become part of the culture at the school. So uh, I've always, since I've become a principal, always looked at how we moved as a school, where we were before, where we want to go, and then where we ended up moving towards. I am not satisfied with our graduation rate. It's at 81%. I'm not satisfied with our college going rate, even though it's higher than the national level. I will not be satisfied until every single child has the same opportunities that I did. And, and that's the beauty of education. It's always hopeful. We're a good system that's always trying to get better. <music>